morning everyone uh, we're just going to do an acrylic today I've got uh, I have the uh, old knife here ready and I'm just going to do the acrylic and a few acrylics just the blue, black, brown, yellow and a little bit of red blue, black, yellow, a little bit of red um, I'll just chat with you a little minute before we start let me, let me uh, we're going to do a cottage but uh, let, before we start let me do you a, a, give you an idea or two how we will go, we'll go about it ok let's see, oh here we are ok let's start I'll just sketch in a, a rough idea for you what, what we're looking at. Now, uh, when you're thinking about doing a painting, any kind of a painting, you'll be saying to yourself, where, where shall I put the, uh, where can I put the horizon line? Do you do want a lot of sky? Do, you want, do I just want a little bit of sky? Or do I want a lot of sky? Excuse me a second. Uh, uh, my God, it's cold this morning. Isn't it? uh, sorry. Uh, so okay. So first of all, we say we'll have a little bit. We're out in the Welsh mountains, and we're, we've got a drawing pad with us, and we're doing a bit of drawing. So the, we'll. Uh, oh, let me let me tighten it down a little bit. So we we we, the, we see these hills, here, these mountains here. Uh, yes. So we've got a little bit of sky up there, and uh, as it coming down towards the valleys here, they start getting these stone walls everywhere, like this. Not very high up, just slow down here, and you start getting stone walls coming across, like this, and then you start getting a couple of little cottages. Okay, so now watch this. Now I'm going to put your cottage here, so uh, we have a cottage, say. Here. Now I'm just going to. There's your cottage. Now look. I put you're putting the roof on. Now what's wrong with that? Somehow or other, just doesn't look right, does it? Well, what? See what I've done now? Hey, okay. have the mountains a bit high there. See what I've done? So we have a little cottage up here, this area, on the mountain side. Guess what? Wait a minute. Is that right? No, it's wrong. So that's coming up a bit. That could be down a little bit. This here, this outbuilding, you will be able to see more of the roof and less of the wall. Now, are you getting it now? Hmm? What I'm showing you. This now is the walls are getting thicker, bigger, wider. And then this is the foreground here. See more of the grasses. You can have a few trees here and a few no. You don't just have a sit what I'm showing you. No? So. Oh, a little bit. Now, if it was, I don't think, Staines and somewhere like that in York, you know, the Arbor, you'd be looking down with a lot of views from above the artists doing it. They're all looking down. But when you're looking down, you're looking, these are going up a little bit because you're looking down on them. And it wouldn't do it right for them to be straight or looking down. So, that was, I was going to tell you about that, that's all. And it's the same thing if you come to a, if you, if you come to doing a, uh, let me see, I don't want that. 
if you come to doing a seascape, it's just the same. You know, if it if if comes to doing a, a seascape and it's, uh, so it's okay, so it's you're doing it the same way. Big rocks here, big rocks here showing, small rocks up there. Big waves up here coming up, calm the rough here. Looking on top of the on top of the uh, rocks there. Won't see on any of them rocks up there. You can have that. And there's your background. Hmm. Now if you if you're looking at if you're going to be looking at a a cottage down here. This way. See a few trees. Slower down, you have a bigger sky. Mountains won't be as high, your trees will be pretty high here. And this is your foreground, will be a bit bigger, like that. You know me? And that's how it works. So, I think you're going to enjoy this one. So, let's uh, make a start. Just let me put these uh, pens away before we start. Okay, to make a start. I'm going to I'm going to put a cottage here. So let's see. Now I think you will enjoy this. So we're going to put a cottage here. And we're going to build a big cottage too this time. And we're going to have a sogging sagging roof. Not a sogging, a sagging roof. No, like that. Just the door. And then uh, another light building to it here. Go on, we'll put that little chimney on as well. And that's all it is. Now, I'll bet you when you've done this and you'll be able to do it, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy it, I'm telling you. And it's something of nothing, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, off we go. Um, oh, I need something to mix on, don't I? You know, I'm not going to board around here. I'll have to use this piece of paper. Ah, use this. Um, okay. Oh, I need some... Uh, I need some white, first of all. Let me get some white out. I'll go on. Oh, that's nice. There you are, put the white on there now. Thick white, nice, good, clean. This white is, is bought in a tub. Golden titanium white, golden acrylics, bought in a tub it is. I'll do that there and that. No, I think if we have any difficulty doing that uh, chimney, there, we'll use a brush, but we seem to get on our heart. Okay, I do think you'll love it. It's on a piece of uh, paper, this is a £200, uh, probably it's Bockingford, if it's not Bockingford it'll be uh, Saunders. There we are, we're all to go, we're all to go, so I'll take that bit off. Okay, now we'll just uh, put that with chimney in. You'll love it, this. Because it's it's nothing and yet it's something. You know. Sometimes the, 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 the simplest ones are the best, aren't they? Hmm? Now 
No, I'm just going to have to mix a bit for just to get high. Right. Now, when you're doing these, uh, using one of these knives, I'm not, I mean, we're not using oils here, but what you, what you do, can't you, you like, you scrape it on your board and you leave a little bit on the edge like that, and then you rub that so you can get, squeeze it towards the edge like that, see. Can you see how I squeeze it to the edge then? And you squeeze it to the edge. That's it. I'm just uh, bring it down, squeeze it to the edge like that. Swirl it round a bit, but sky we want. Squeeze it to that edge, like that. Flat now, flat of it. Like that. There. Now this is a bit of black. We're using a, not a lot of colour, you know, in this one. We're just using like three basic colour colours, uh, yellow ochre, or oh, also yeah, no, if you drop that down there, tighten it up, if we've got, if we've not got yellow ochre, Blend it out, it should all come all the same colour. Right. I will just leave that like that for a minute. Okay, let's see now. I'll just get some of this white out of here. Plop it on there. Okay, now then. Let's do that roof there with the, uh, some other uh, yellow ochre or a bit of burnt, uh, sienna. Put a bit of white in it. This is a bit of yellow ochre and white together. Oh, no, 
yellow ochre and white just so let's get this something like okay now this next roof out here we'll make it a little bit different have a, uh, add a bit of black let's add a bit of black to it see if we've got some black here have a bit black ah that's black can't tell whether it's blacker or not. Well, it's because the ultramarine looks more or less same, isn't it? You know. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, now let's get some of that grey. Bit of black and a bit of white again. Get some black. Get some white. You need more black, white, more or less than anything in this. Doing these. And let's just uh, see if we can get this this grey wall in There, that's the grey wall. Which you, what you'll do after is just give that a few white dabs. Nothing's too difficult in this one. It's purely for beginners. Can be a little bit bigger like I've done that side, can't it? Now then, uh, a rag, cut that off of there, wipe it off now, palette knife, and get some yellow, oops, get some yellow or some yellow ochre, mix it well with a bit of black, not too much black. Black in it, just just so it turns it into a green. Mm -hmm. I won't get a bit of yellow and just touch it in it here and there. And a little bit of uh, sienna as well. Okay, carry on.
paint your hands behind this and you doing it. They're all these plain colours, nothing, only a bit of yellow ochre, ultramarine as I've told you. Can we use a bit of lemon yellow? Just like that. Get some yellow ochre in it. I'm mixing a bit of yellow ochre now in that dirty green what I've just seen there. And I'm just going to, no, I'll leave it for a minute. I'll just take this one in here. Now then, get some a bit of a more yellow in that. Just let's see if we can just uh, I'm just going to touch a bit of water and it's starting really drying very quick. Now let's just see. I'm going to shake it a bit there. Bit difficult to uh, get to that. This uh, piece of metal being in the way, I'm going to have to try and uh, work it out next time to do it different some way. Right, um, put some more paint out because I've gone through a lot like that. Okay, I've been for some more green. 
black I mean and yellow so I can mix the green. Like it seems to make a nice green with the lemon yellow black. So let's have a see. Oh, this is that cheap yeah well, I'm using that uh, very cheap stuff from uh, from the uh, Wilkinson Fruitcourt Now I'll go over that, I'll come back. That's it, it's uh, dark now, but still it's what we wanted. Now I'm going to go over this and not bother too much this chimney. Can you see how it's coming up now? That's what I think you'll like it. Shaky. I wish I could get smooth. Wouldn't shake too so much of this. I always spoiling stuff with it. Let's just see how the small brush was a bit that with that.
does not look any better. And you know what? Let's get some greens. Just use a brush on this. This is that cheap yellow out of there. Uh, out of Wilkinson's big store. You have to make use of these things. So that's the tree there, another one there, ah, some nice yellow. That's all right for now. Let's just get the rid of that white patch. All we have to do is the frontage, put that white in again, get some, just touching this, just touching some black stonework. So I'll make some grey. See what it looks like now. Huh? A bit lighter, I think. See, just. Uh, I'm not going to go into drawing every stone. Now the next bit is to walk a little bit up front. 
curve falling out over this. Oh, it's bluey casty. Eh? There now. I think you like that because it's not hard to do. We're not finished yet, of course. Now I think you like doing that. It's so simple. And yet, so effective. Sometimes the more you put in, the worse they look. I really do love to do something that's so simple that I can do. Uh, you know, you know he's going to, to, to go into classes and somebody comes and does a marvellous painting and well, what you want as learners, I'm sure that I always did this with classes and they love it. They used to come back next week and say, my husband said that's the best painting I've ever done. Not hard to do, simple, but effective. Thanks for looking in.